That's him looking right at me. And that's me backing up. If we were ranking the Florida State Parks, Silver Spring State Park would definitely be in our top 10. We're gonna show you the campground and all the amenities in a minute, but we're gonna start with kayaking down the Silver River. All right, here's where we're launching. We're gonna go up to the spring first, then come back and take this trail all the way down to get on Silver River here. This is one of the top five paddles that we've done in the whole state of Florida. So if you wanna see the full kayaking run that we did, we shot a separate video and we will include the link for that video down in the description for you. Next up is our favorite walking trail at Silver Springs State Park. So one of the best trails from the campground is to do this swamp trail all the way down to the river's edge. Okay, right here you can stay on that trail to go to the river trail, but we're gonna do the swamp trail. By the way, feeding the monkeys is prohibitive. We've never seen them on the trail, but we did run into them once while we were kayaking. This trail is so nicely shaded though, that even when it's about high 80s, low 90s, it feels pretty good. The shade was so helpful on this trail. And funny enough, as we're reading you the don't feed the monkey sign and telling you that we've never seen the monkeys on this trail, this in fact was the day that we ran into the monkeys on the trail. And we encountered them as you got closer to the river on the boardwalk section of the trail. The trail gets really pretty here. You get to go on the cypress boardwalk right over the cypress knees. And you can kind of see them as you're passing by. We are pretty far up river from the spring itself at this point, and I think you can really appreciate just how clear the water is even at this portion of the river. It was just amazing. And this is the part of the river that you can encounter the monkeys. Where we have seen monkeys is right here at the end of this boardwalk while we were kayaking right here on the river and that clump of trees. So pay attention while you're kayaking, pay attention when you're doing this boardwalk trail. He's right on the rail. You gotta keep your distance and just zoom in. That's him. that's him looking right at me. And that's me backing up. That is awesome. Saw this sign on the trail, but no bears today. So you can kind of see it comes back to the same spot. That's the entrance we were at earlier today when we started. And then this one brings you back to the parking lot as well. Okay, just to show you one more time, we started at this side, did the swamp trail down here, about right there is where we saw the monkeys, and then we finished it coming back out the other way, like this. There are so many neat things you can do there at Silver Spring State Park, and right around the corner from the campground, they have a museum, 
and it's open daily and it only costs two dollars per person to go in and they have some wonderful exhibits there and then they have a 1930s schoolhouse right on the grounds it's pretty cool to check out and they have a replica pioneer village from the 1800s and you really get to feel what it might have been like to live in that era Okay, just to give you a point of reference, the campground is this direction. And if I pan you over here, there's the museum. And then the historic school right there. And then those old buildings right there. So I just turned you 360 degrees so you had an idea right where you're at. Again, campground is this direction. The campground is separated from where you would go to the kayak launch or the glass bottom boats that you're familiar with. So that can be confusing because the signage is not that great. So this is where you get some confusion because this is the main entrance, but you actually have to come down this road all the way to here for the campground entrance. One of our favorite things we love when we're camping is large campsites. So you will love the campsites here at Silver Spring State Park. They have 59 of them, and they have recently upgraded them with 50 amp service. So that's really nice. They have a dump station, and of course they also have 10 cabins. So if you're into cabin camping, this is also a place for you. These sites are so large. This is site 21. And just look at all the space you have here. This is definitely a site I would pick. So this is site 26, which is not quite as private, but boy, they're just huge here. And uh, you have so much space. I mentioned earlier that they do have 10 cabins there. All of the cabins are two bedrooms and they do include a fire pit outside. And I was impressed that they actually had screened in porches, which is a big deal in Florida. And then if you're not aware, your camping fees do cover your admission price. If you go to the main tourist part of Silver Spring State Park, maybe you just want to walk around to some of the trails or see the glass bottom boats. We did the Ross Allen Trail there, which was really nice. It was on a boardwalk, so it was wheelchair accessible, and it was really cool to get up close to the water. Look at these ginormous elephant ear plants. Never seen them this big in Florida. I also want to share that there are a lot of great eating options right around the corner from Silver Spring State Park. So if you're camping there, but you want a night away from the campsite, there's plenty of choices and they're pretty close. Well, I hope this video inspires you to get out and check out Silver Spring State Park, whether you're camping or just doing a day trip. And if you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you gave us a thumbs up down below. And more importantly, we would love it if you subscribed to the channel and came along with us on all of these adventures. And until next time, get out there and camp, travel, and explore.